Hi, welcome to my video. Now, my video today is well, it was a bit of a pain uh, for me basically, and I have an issue of a locked locked uh, boot or trunk, and I have no way of getting into it. Now, the traditional way uh, that I've seen on YouTube is to open the uh, bonnet up, I'm just getting out of the car. So, the traditional way of uh, opening the uh, boot uh, is, as you can see, I've got a red crocodile clip going into one of these terminals. It doesn't matter which uh, you use and the negative uh, is around the back uh, or anywhere uh, on the body uh, metal surface and then once this is done your uh, battery will slowly charge and <coughs> what will happen is you would come back in to your car and uh, use uh, that button there uh, sorry not that one that one if it can focus you would use that button and the trunk or the boot will open but as you can see uh, there's no uh, power going into this and uh, <laughs> even if I uh, try to zoom out a little try to flick it nothing happens and the boot will simply not open uh, and uh, the reason let me just shut this door apologies for being so dark I don't have a light in here uh, and it's getting uh, kind of dark right now doing this and then trying to open uh, the uh, boot uh, would usually open but in my case what the problem I have is I don't have the um, vacuum pump working for the central locking so my central locking is also uh, not working uh, when I uh, press the open button on the key uh, it opens uh, basically it stays open and that's what got it into open it with the open the door within with the actual key because those obviously central working is not working so I, as I've opened it and it's now stays open if I press the open button on the key uh, the lights on the sides uh, indicate that the car is open and normally you'd see the um, central locking uh, going up and unlocking the car in but in this case it's all open and if I press the uh, close or the lock button on the key uh, and there is basically uh, nothing uh, at all uh, no uh, the lights don't come on meaning that it's, it's being locked to t just to tell you and central locking is is not basically coming up to lock the car totally dead there's no sound on the vacuum motor or anything now before i talk about the uh, vacuum motor which is is my issue uh, and that's why i can't get into the trunk of the or the boot of the car to actually uh, get at it uh, to replace it or fix it or whatever and I've had look, I've had a good look on YouTube, and obviously you got these videos explaining to you connect uh, the positive and negative here on the terminals, and uh, you can open the boot. And in my case, uh, there's no vacuum at all, so I couldn't open it. Normally, you would have your vacuum pump working, and when you connect this setup up, uh, and you just flip the uh, switch from inside the car and your uh, trunk or boot lid opens up so but in my case uh, i had to do 
uh, better thinking and basically uh, uh, find another way in and one of the first ways uh, I was basically having uh, a try on uh, uh, the first way was basically let me just hang that light there first way uh, was to uh, somehow uh, get to this latch and the cable that opens the lever. Now I was told uh, to basically remove uh, the number plate cover and everything and the door lock uh, would be here but in fact the door lock is down here so there's no way of me getting to the latch uh, which is mm, just there there's no way i can get through from the top there basically that's all boarded up you can't get through that side so this i tried and i thought maybe there's, there's a cable in there behind the reverse i mean number plate light but uh, no lock there so I left that as it is and obviously at this moment you know it's opened but it was uh, told, it was closed and <clears throat> I had to find another way of getting in and the only way uh, in uh, was through the back seat and here let me just keep like, grab the light here is the back seat or was the back seat now I've removed the back seat uh, and the base seat totally uh, I've removed both of them and let me just put the light out of the way okay. right now in order for me to get back into the boot of the car um, I was told uh, on another YouTube video that I'll be able to get through uh, the back the back from the back panel uh, of the backrest in the back seat and but there's no uh, no way I can get through that because it's uh, as you can see is a steel body panel and no chance of getting through uh, this side then I was told uh, to I'll be able to get in through this uh, uh, first aid uh, compartment and I also basically tried that I opened that up and as you can see again although I can see through the uh, uh, holes the lock I can't there's no way I can reach uh, down there plus I have to take the cover off or you know try to get my arm through there there's no it's basically impossible so that uh, didn't work out and then the only option for me because I knew the uh, vacuum pump was located in the uh, uh, boot uh, that uh, I had to basically go through uh, this uh, rear uh, seat panel to get into the boot and if you cut this out basically you're in the boot um, and this is what I've done as you can see I cut the uh, the panel um, and you got this basically sharp edges so be careful if you ever do do this so I've cut enough with one of these things uh, with the metal cutting uh, saw on there and uh, it was time-consuming uh, took my time and uh, 
I cut along uh, I started from that end cut along all the way uh, now I could have made a small hole but then trying to reach in uh, with my arm it was a no-no so I just decided maybe I need to use it some other time again and I don't want to go through this process again so what I've done is just cut out I started from there brought the cut from here then from here I uh, came up up to there and then I went diagonal and I left it there bearing in mind these I need uh, one for this flap that goes there and then the cover that goes back of there uh, on the back of this panel uh, these notches uh, are to basically fix that so I've not touched them and if I can just push this back a little and show you the top end of it and there I haven't cut this uh, bit yet I'm not gonna when I've done the job I'm just gonna push all this back like so so and hopefully uh, I'll weld the points and stick it back in put the seat on and on and everything uh, and <clears throat> I'll be the only one basically to know about it and anybody who's watched my video now once this was open I crawled in through the hole <laughs> let me just open it you gotta be careful pretty strong once I'd opened this the uh, mind the rubbish there obviously the uh, boot is now open the door latch was just over the uh, sponge there which I'll just zoom in there's the door latch and all I did was uh, just put a screwdriver in there and move the latch and they opened up uh, there wasn't even need for uh, to find the cable um, so <coughs> as soon as I uh, did that obviously the bonnet the book boot sorry that opened up and I have now access to uh, the boot now once I was uh, in the boot uh, I had to obviously just moving the light forward so you can see better once I'd moved uh, the light oops the light right so let me just get the light stuck on now so you can see a little better okay, I'll just hold it right so what I did after that was how to get to the uh, the vacuum pump which as you're looking at uh, these uh, wires uh, with their vacuum hoses and those are uh, connectors that goes on the pump and here is uh, that pump and the hoses go into these uh, slots and they only go in one order and be careful not to mix them up when you take them off always label them uh, which I've done and if this uh, pump this pump uh, vacuum pump it, it be inside uh, this foam casing right now this foam casing just This was basically in like that, and it was uh, it was basically in here. This is where it uh, this is where it basically goes in here. Uh, I took the cover off, uh, which is basically on the floor there. I don't know if you can uh, you can see it. It's pretty dark here. The cover's there. I just uh, took the. Um, these uh, uh, these clips, and I think there was only three, four, uh, and they were like uh, this one here, 
one here, one there, one, one there, so one, two, three, that's fun. Took that, took that off, pulled it out, and uh, then the uh, vacuum pump was obviously attached to all this, and these are the cables that are attached to it. Uh, this one uh, is the power cable. Uh, now I've uh, obviously there's the the black wire, the earth and the pot, uh, the pot live wire next to each other. Uh, I've connected it up with uh, external battery, uh, a couple of lead, but uh, and there is power. I've checked that the power with the meter there is power coming through the uh, cables so it's not the power uh, coming into the vacuum pump it's the actual vacuum pump which is uh, faulty and <coughs> that's why my central locking isn't uh, coming on and that was the reason uh, I had to um, do that to open this and because there was no vacuum uh, uh, in the in the car the central locking these pipes and uh, I couldn't open uh, the uh, door latch and then obviously the remote will not open it and the central uh, locking doesn't work so this was my uh, fault and it created a problem for me to actually get into the boot which I could not open and to get so now to get to get to it this is the only option in this circumstance normally you just connect the uh, terminals uh, flip the uh, switch and the bonnet will open but um, Obviously, in my case, a bit more work to do now. Uh, I think this is going to cost me about 30 quid, um, 24, 25 quid on eBay. But I'll, I'll see if I can wait that long. But uh, from the scrapyard, it's about 30 quid, uh, 25 quid from eBay. They're selling it for 30 as well. and there's uh, a variety of different uh, ones uh, those there's some with uh, instead of having these clips and the nozzles inside uh, with this uh, uh, cover there uh, and also this is, this is lock mechanism for the pipes normally on some of the models you don't get this and you just uh, push the uh, pipes onto the nozzles um, also they're in different shapes and different sizes so uh, I'm just gonna go and have this replaced and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you out um, it's a bit of a bit of a um, bit of a mission to get to uh, this uh, if like me you're basically you have you're left with no other choice and this is the only way 
uh, that you'll get into your group. So please comment uh, and uh, I will try to uh, reply for any comments uh, if you need help. Uh, but I think it's self-explanatory, uh, it's not rocket science. Uh, that's the way uh, I got in and it was the only way I knew how to get in. So uh, because there was no uh, YouTube, vid YouTube video available on uh, YouTube uh, uh, for this uh, purpose, uh, but there was plenty on uh, the other options but nothing uh, for uh, this issue so hope this helps you as it's uh, helped me and uh, thank you for watching